Welcome to this instructional video for the Dave Smith Instruments Profit 12 Editor from SoundTower. Before we begin using the Profit 12 Editor, we must confirm that the Profit 12 is set up to send and receive information correctly to allow the editor and the Profit 12 to communicate with each other. On the Profit 12, push the global button. The OLED screen will change to this display. The first parameter we need to confirm is the MIDI channel. We can select any of the 16 available MIDI channels we wish, but for now, let's use all. Next, scroll down to MIDI parameter send. You can select off, CC, and NRPN. CC stands for continuous controller and NRPN stands for non-registered parameter number. Continuous controllers are the basic set of parameters available over MIDI. These include things like volume, pan, and program changes. NRPN stands for non-registered parameter number. These can be defined as needed by instrument and software developers to control many more parameters than could ever be done with continuous controllers. For the Profit 12 to communicate with the editor, we need to select NRPN. This, along with MIDI parameter receive set to NRPN, allows the editor to control all the parameters of the Profit 12. This also assures that any changes that are made to the controls on the front panel of the Profit 12 will be reflected in the editor window. We will confirm that once we get the other settings of the Profit 12 set. So as mentioned, set MIDI parameter receive to NRPN. Confirm that MIDI control enable is set to on. This turns on the communication path. Next, set MIDI SysX to on. SysX is short for system exclusive. This is set to allow data to be exchanged between the Profit 12 and the editor. Next, you need to select the type of cable you are using to connect the Profit 12 to the computer. Most current instruments incorporate a USB port to allow easy connection. However, in larger rigs, sometimes a traditional multi-port interface is used, requiring the use of standard 5-pin MIDI cables. For this example, we will use the USB connection. Set MIDI SysX cable to USB Set MIDI OUT SELECT to USB. And once these settings are complete, click the global button to exit the setup screen. Next, let's open the Profit 12 editor. Click on MIDI, then MIDI setup. Your screen may appear somewhat different depending on if you're on a Mac or PC and what your exact MIDI setup may be in your studio. Here we see the Profit 12 appearing as an available connection. Confirm that the global MIDI channel is set to all. If we click on the Profit 12 on the in port side and the Profit 12 on the out port side, we see that the Profit 12 is now online. Once the Profit 12 is showing online, we can exit this window. To confirm the connection, we can adjust parameters on the Profit 12, and they will be reflected on the editor, and we can adjust a parameter on the editor, and it will be received by the Profit 12. For those using a standard MIDI interface, on the Profit 12, set MIDI SysX cable to MIDI, set MIDI out select to MIDI, and again back to the editor. Click MIDI and click MIDI Setup. To keep it simple for demonstrating, I have the Profit 12 connected through an old two-port MIDI man interface. The Profit 12 is connected through the A in and out ports. If I select those two ports in this window, the Profit 12 once again comes back online and is ready for editing. To confirm the connection again, we just adjust a parameter on the Profit 12 and that will be reflected in the editor. And we can adjust a parameter on the editor and it will be received by the Profit 12. The Profit 12 and the Profit 12 editor are now communicating correctly. We hope you'll enjoy using the SoundTower Profit 12 editor to reach inside this powerful instrument.